Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. This is AW Pixorica today back in DHA for another amazing video for you guys. If you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already. So today we are talking about DJI quick shots which are available inside the DJI app and inside DJI drones. These quick shots are for newbies who haven't flown their drones yet. So these are automated shots available inside the drone which you can use to create cinematic sequences. Without further ado, let's get you straight inside the video coming up right so talking about the first shot that we are gonna go through over here and that is the droney first you gotta go inside the video menu on your app select quick shots uh, you have various options there is droney there is rocket there is circle there is helix and there is boomerang so we'll go over each one of them sequentially so first i'm gonna go for droney select the distance i'm gonna go for like let's go for like 45 meters once i have the distance selected i'm just gonna press start and draw a circle or draw a tracking rectangle around me which is the subject and then press the quick start button or the start button to take this shot now for the drone the drone is going to pull back and rise up at the same time Three, we're just going to press start two, one. and there you go the drone is now going to move back in the direction that i chose for it it's moving and moving and moving and at the same time it's rising up and revealing the beautiful scene that is behind me which in this case are these beautiful homes and a water tank and once the drone has completed its quick shot it's simply gonna come back to the location or the point from where it started and this is a very nice added feature inside the DJI drones that you don't lose them you don't have to get them back by yourself you have an option to do this if you press the cancel flight button on the remote control and get the drone manually back however it's going to do it automatically all right the next shot is the rocket so let's try this i'm going to go for about 40 meters on this one i'm just going to bring the drone a little closer to me there you go this is i guess close enough i'm tilting the gimbal down so that the camera or drone camera is able to track me all right for the rocket i'm going to select rocket select the distance of 40 meters and uh, press start and again draw a circle around me so that the drone is able to track me and hit the start button the timer is on the timer is on all right now the drone is gonna you know come up hover above me and rise at the distance that i selected for it an amazing shot if pulled off correctly now, this is a shot in which the drone is giving you that bird's eye view and is continuously rising up giving that beautiful look or a bird's eye look to the complete surrounding uh, or the area that you have now the shot is completed the shot is done the, the, the drone is now gonna come back to the point from where it started the shot in the first place I'm just going to get the gimbal up a bit so that I am in focus it has returned and I'm just you know turning the gimbal back on me so that it is able to track me again all right moving on to the next shot which is the circle in which the drone is pretty much going to circle around me beautiful shot for this shot i'm just going to take the drone a bit back so that i get that beautiful amazing look i'm just going to turn the gimbal up so that it's able to track me take the drone a bit further back for the circle there is no particular distance involved it's the distance that you choose for the drone how far away it's from you that's gonna going to decide the diameter of uh, the circle all right since I have it selected, I'm going to hit start, draw a circle around me once again so that it has me in focus. I'm going to draw a proper circle. All right, now it has me in its track. I'm going to Three, press start, two, let the one. drone do its job. And there you go. It has started the circular shot. It's a beautiful shot in which the drone is moving around you, giving you that beautiful, amazing look and feel. Feel of a hero shot or a beautiful, you know, cinematic heroic shot, if you call it. Once it's uh, done with the, the circle, the drone is going to come back to exactly the same place from where it started. Uh, this is These shots are truly amazing shots. Options available inside the DJI app for you to play with. Amazing stuff, DJI. Now, you also have the option to 
go around in a, uh, in a clockwise motion or an anti-clockwise motion that totally depends on your personal preference. For the next one which is the helix in which the drone is going to circle around but also increase its distance or pull back a bit at the same time. So I'm going to select a distance this time I'm going to go for like 45 meters press start draw that tracking circle around me so that the drone has its eyes on me and it's fixed on me and I'm just going to press Three, start. Two, one. Let's see how the shot goes. All right, the dawn has started now circling around me. You can see that it is tracking me pretty well. It's moving, circling around, circling around, circling around and increasing the distance from me at the same time. Now, this is a beautiful shot. The way it is trying to pull this off is really amazing. All right, again, once the shot is done, the drone is going to fall back to its original position from where it started. An amazing feature that DJI has added for all these quick shots. Just look at how the rest of the scene is being revealed. It is pulling back and circling at the same time. Just gorgeous. The shot is almost done. It's 99% now the drone is of course returning to the point from where it started so i'm just gonna hit cross over here and show you how to return manually i'm just gonna pull down and forward at the same time for the drone to move back to me there you have the drone it's right up there and it's back at the point or the position where it started. I'm just gonna pull it back a bit for the next shot. For the next shot, we have the boomerang. In the boomerang, it's like, uh, it's gonna start off a little close. It's gonna move back, circle a bit, and then pull, push in towards the subject. An amazing shot, I've carried out uh, well enough. I'm just gonna set the gimbal and bring the drone a bit down so that the shot is, you know, as per my wells and wishes, I'm just gonna draw the circle tracking circle around me i'm just gonna move a bit to make sure that the drone has me in its sight and it's not losing track three. i'm just gonna press start there goes the counter one. three two one the drone is gonna start off uh, with the boomerang so it has started off in an anti-clockwise manner in an anti-clockwise fashion it is circling around it is going far now it is increasing its distance the drone is increasing its distance and now i think once it has completed the circle it's gonna come back or push in if you ask me me. Beautiful and amazing shot uh, on the DJI. Uh, these quick shots that are available. Really amazing. Really amazing. I see it's coming back to the point where it started. It's truly amazing. I, really, I have really enjoyed all these quick shots. All right, guys, uh, those were uh, the quick shots tutorial on the DJI Mini 2 for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial from my side. It's pretty windy here in DHA. I have a dead cat muff on my microphone, but I know that it is going to pick up a lot of noise. Hope to get more subscribers because this channel, you know, 80 or 90% of you guys who watch my videos are not subscribed. It is really going to help if you guys subscribe to my channel and uh, hit that bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of the good stuff that is coming uh, on this channel very, very soon. This is Ali from AWP. Exotica. Signing off for now. See you in another video really, really soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>